100K, let's go! 2020 was the year that everything unexpected happened, including me hitting 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And with Christmas approaching this week, what more could I ask for? Now here's the thing, I started this channel almost exactly three years ago. It was actually December 1st was the day that I started this YouTube channel. And when I started, I never thought in a million years I would even hit 5,000 subscribers. Like I saw channels that had like a thousand subscribers and I was like, man, that's cool, but I'm never gonna be able to get to that point. And then here I am today. I'll never forget the first video I recorded because it took me like a ridiculous amount of hours because I was just so nervous. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even watch YouTube videos, but I wanted to make something that I would actually enjoy watching. I haven't even rewatched that video probably since I recorded it way back then. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I just play my first video and then react to it with you guys so we can all watch it together. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh man, I'm nervous. Here we go. The only reason that you're a Christian is because you were born in America. Okay, first off, why am I more orange than Trump? <laughs> Where were my real friends at during this time? Friends don't let friends record videos, post them on the internet for everyone to see, looking like vitamin C P. <laughs> oh man, that was stupid. My jokes haven't got any better. What's up everybody? Welcome to What Do You Mean? Let's get into another episode. Man, no wonder I didn't think I was gonna hit 100K. Ain't nobody gonna hit 100K with those dance moves and that intro. No sir, ain't gonna happen. Bruh. <laughs> Oh, if you're a Christian, have you ever asked yourself if you would be a Christian if you were born somewhere like India? And if you're not a Christian, have you ever wondered if the reason why the majority of people accept Christianity is because they were born in America? Why is the music still going? <laughs> How should the Christian and the non-Christian think about this? Now for some Christians, this could be true. This could be one of those stones in their shoe that continue to nag them over time whenever someone forces them to think about it or someone mentions it to them. All right, maybe this is a bad idea. So you guys kind of get the point. So I think we can be done with this, right? Some of you have been with me since the very beginning of my channel, and I remember a lot of you guys, like uh, Betsy Ross and Stickman Sam, and I mean, there's so many of you guys that I just remember seeing you then, and you guys still comment on my videos even today, which is really, really cool. If you were to ask me what's the best part of hitting 100,000 subscribers, I would say that at least 100,000 people have heard the gospel at this point, and so that makes all of the difference to me in the world. So thanks to all of you too, we're getting out the gospel more and more and more each day. For those of you that are watching this during the week of Christmas, I got a special offer for you. All right. So I got this shirt here. You can see it. Faith above fame. Okay. And that shirt I'm only going to have available for this week. And then meaning behind the shirt is it doesn't matter how successful you are in whatever you do. It doesn't matter if you're a actor, a music artist, a plumber, it really doesn't matter what you do. And if you get some very successful, the only thing that really matters is that you keep your faith above the fame because that's what's more important. All of the success that anybody gets, all of the money that anybody gets, is all loaned to us. Now, when it comes to the faith above fame concept, it doesn't just stop there. I got some plans. We'll see if it works out. And if so, you guys heard it here first. So anyways, just want to do a quick video to say thank you, each and every one of you, for sharing videos, liking videos, all of the generous and beautiful supporters who supported the Meme Dream Team on Patreon and on the channel membership and that sort of thing. Thank you guys so much. You guys have no idea how appreciative I am. So with that being said, I just want to say thank you all so much. If you guys have been blessed by this ministry or you want to do a little bit end of the year giving, please check out one of the links down below as your support is greatly appreciated and it will go to good use. So that's it. That's a wrap. Going out strong in 2020. Looking forward to 2021. And uh, old school John, take us out of here. What are you going to say? What do you mean?